Hi, I am Dr. Martin Jugenberg, also known as Real Doctor Six on social media. I am an internationally trained plastic and deconstructive surgeon based in Toronto. Today, I am going to talk about one of the most requested procedures in my practice and rank number one in North America, breast augmentation. More specifically, my approach to tiny scar breast augmentation. One of the biggest concerns women have about plastic surgery is the scar, the telltale sign of surgery. The unique aspect of this tiny scar technique that I will show you today is that the scars are almost invisible to the naked eye. We are able to perform a breast augmentation using only minuscule incision, reduce surgery time and faster healing. First step is to choose the breast implant type, shape and size. That decision is based on your body frame and current breast width to best achieve the look that you want. There are two types of implants, silicone cohesive gel and the other one is saline or salt water implant. These can come in several different sizes and various profiles such as low, moderate or high profile. There is also a newer generation of implants on the market called structured implants, also known as the ideal implant. These are saline based implants with a silicone shell that is meant to look and feel similar to silicone implant. For a tiny scar breast augmentation, the preferred implant in our clinic is saline. Silicone can also be used for tiny scar breast augmentations, but the incision needs to be slightly larger to insert the fuller implant. And despite the belief that silicone has a more natural feel, most women have enough of their own breast tissue to cover the implant, so when you can't really tell whether it's a silicone or saline implant underneath. And although both silicone and saline implants are considered safe, some women consider saline to be the safest choice. The benefits of saline implants are, you can tell if the implant ever ruptures, the size can be adjusted to cover minor asymmetries, the removal of the implant is simpler and less traumatic, the risk of capsular contracture is slightly smaller, but the biggest advantage to using saline is that it only requires a minuscule incision to insert the implant and has the name tiny scar breast augmentation. Saline is our preferred implant for this tiny scar breast augmentation procedure. However, we are also able to use silicone cohesive gel, which does require a slightly larger incision. With the use of cone-shaped device called the Keller funnel, we are able to insert a silicone implant through a smaller incision, although slightly larger than what would be needed for a saline implant. There are three locations through which an implant can be inserted. This can be either through the armpit, also known as a transaxillary breast augmentation, through the breast vault, or through the areola. The preferred location at our clinic is the breast fold approach, where the implant can be positioned under the pectoral muscle without causing too much disturbance to the breast tissue, and the breast shape can be precisely controlled with natural, feminine, and symmetrical contours. The implant can be placed under or over the pectoral muscle. We perform 95% of our cases under the pectoral muscle because of its lower rate of capsular contracture and symastia that some people call the uniboob look. The most common reason for going over the muscle is when the patient does not want to affect her pectoral muscle function and to avoid animation deformity. The tiny scar breast augmentation typically takes about 30 minutes to perform and can be done awake under local anesthesia or asleep under general anesthesia. A good candidate for a tiny scar breast augmentation is someone who wants to enhance their breast size or regain fullness after pregnancies, weight loss or after normal aging process but does not require a lift or breast reshaping. For any procedure to be performed safely, the patient must fit the following criteria. You must have a BMI of less than 30. You must be in overall good health with uncompromised immune system and good healing ability. You should not be a smoker and you should have realistic expectations. So let me show you how it's done using saline or silicone implants. There are two main steps to a tiny scar breast augmentation using saline implants. An incision is made either under the breast fold or in the armpit area using a natural pre-existing crease that is marked before surgery. The implant is then rolled up tightly and inserted into a tiny 2 cm incision and placed under the pectoral muscle. The implant is then filled with saline solution and adjusted for size, symmetry and shape before closing the incision. For silicone implants, we use the Keller funnel, a device that makes it possible to insert a larger fuller implant through a smaller incision between 2.5 to 3 cm, either in the armpit area or under the breast fold like a saline implant. 
the implant is placed under the pectoral muscle and adjustments are made before closing. Initial recovery from the tiny scar breast augmentation takes 5 to 7 days before performing regular activities. A full recovery takes approximately 6 weeks until you're able to resume regular physical exercise. After several months, the implants will have settled and the scars will be very fine, white line, barely visible to the naked eye. Generally, there is a 95% satisfaction rate for breast augmentation procedures. For more information on cosmetic breast surgeries or other procedures, check out our website or follow me on Instagram at realdoctor6. Stay tuned for future videos on high def, body sculpting and abetching with basal liposuction, awake facelifts and much, much more. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Jingenberg, also known as Dr. Six, and we always keep it real.